Yo, what's going on guys? This is Level Zero SRL, or Level Zero to Infinity, and welcome back to Aether Online, where we play ranked matches and you, you don't really do anything. But that's what I love you guys for. So, today we're going to be jumping back into ranked, obviously. I haven't played any ranked since uh, the last video, so the rank will be the same and uh, everything else. But I kind of wanted to talk about something before I started. So, um... Before I get any like questions or anything, which is totally understandable since I'm starting the series, I decided that I sort of needed a way to uh, get more of a commentary or a conversational piece out during my videos while I'm talking in between these matches and stuff since there's not a whole lot to talk about. So I decided to just start coming up with topics that I'm going to talk about every video. And even when I start maybe do get questions in the future, uh, I'll probably keep up this topic thing because it's a really nice way to just sort of talk about things um, in between matches in case if I have nothing else to talk about. So today, we're going to talk about fighting games. Fighting games in particular um, is something that's very near and dear to my heart because I've been playing them since I was a little kid. Now obviously I've only been playing like uh, Smash Bros. 64 when I was little, but I, I tried picking up Guilty Gear, which was pretty much to no avail because I had no idea how fighting games worked. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and jump into rank here. And um, I want to say that, like, I think the first time I really started getting interested in uh, doing fighting games was around in 2009 or 2010. I can't really remember when I picked up Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Blaze Blue Calam Calamity Trigger. Um... If you guys haven't played those games, they're actually super, super fun. I, I definitely prefer Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but Calamity Trigger is still my favorite Blaze Blue by far, next to Central Fiction. And I'd say that was like the first time that I decided to uh, pick up a fighting game to try and actually learn it, which, you know, is all fun and dandy and stuff. But I, I still didn't really understand what I was doing, mostly just because I was new to fighting games and stuff, and I was still kind of using the simple mode in Marvel vs. Capcom. And, you know, it really wasn't all that big of a deal. Now, I'd say that the first time that I did try to start learning a fighting game for, le like, legitimately was around in 2013 when I picked up uh, Super Street Fighter IV Ar Arcade Edition, uh, the 2012 edition, I believe it was, which came with, like, Evil Ryu, Yun Jun, and... Uh, Oni, which ended up being my main. That was, like, the first game that I actually sat down and decided to start uh, learning the mechanics and trying to play fighting games to, uh, you know, try to learn the whole neutral and stuff. And that was kind of like my real introduction to playing fighting games. Even though I, I feel like I kind of loved them my entire life, that was when I really started getting serious about them. And then soon, very soon after that, is when the Smash documentary came out, and that's when I started picking up uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Melee as uh, fighting games and I went to my first tourney ever at a uh, at a little uh, college in uh, Indiana I think it was downtown and uh, that was my first tourney it was a melee tournament it had uh, melee brawl and project M I believe and I entered both project M and melee I'm not I'm not entirely sure and I did terrible <laughs> I, I played like complete and utter garbage. You know how it is whenever you play a, a game, fighting game in a tournament for the first time. You stick around in the training room for so long and it's like, oh man, I, I'm so amazing at this and I, I'm ready to take on the world. And then once you actually p get pit up against somebody who knows what they're doing, you get completely destroyed and there's just nothing you can really do about it. But it was a, it was a good moment because I think I'm going to drop this guy and try to pick up somebody else on it. Let's see if this works. There we go. That's much better. So, that was like a good experience for me because it was the first time that I actually got to play against other people and I got more involved with my community with Melee. Um, and, you know, it really brought me even closer to fighting games and I started playing fighting games a whole lot more after that. And it was just really fun. And we're playing against another Zetterburn. Oh, shoot. <laughs> This is going to be a battle of the clonage. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to ban this one. I kind of want to end up in... Oh, no, he took it from me. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do this one. Sky Armada is fun. Dude, that's a really cool color. Is that the Valentine's Day color? I like it. 
Alright, so playing against Zetterburn. So yeah, I mean, after that moment... Aw, oh, man, I can't believe I didn't get the spike. Aw, oh, man, I was trying to parry it. After that moment, I started getting more involved with my communities and fighting games. And fighting games just kind of took over my life, honestly. I, I played, I started playing fighting games a uh, hell of a ton more after getting involved with my community. And now I, I kind of like to collect them. I just, just to kind of play them and see what I can get into. That was a good parry. There we go. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Yep. <laughs> see, this guy shines. I don't shine. I'm so bad at it. Like, I'm not consistent enough. I See, I tried to parry that. There we go. That should... That's not gonna kill. But he's not gonna get the wall jump, so we're good. Uh, one thing about Aether that I don't think I talked about, um... You know, it's very different from Smash. It, it looks really similar, but there's, like, quite a lot different that differentiates it from it. Which is good, because I think if it were just, like, Smash, it wouldn't be any fun, really. Because who wants to play a game when you can just play the original, right? Oh man, that was so stupid of me. Uh, the big thing is that there's like no edge guarding in this game. Well, there's edge guarding, but there's no edge grabbing. So the whole game is kind of based around getting back wall jumps. So if you don't know how to do wall jumps, you're kind of screwed. Like that guy just did there. <laughs> back air to down air. We're moving on to the next match with this guy. Let's go. I'm feeling good today, guys. I'm, re I'm ready to take this on. So, all right. Let's talk about, uh, you know, after getting into the Melee community, um, and I, I feel like I started getting good at Melee uh, <laughs> much longer than after. I don't really play Melee anymore, but I ended up getting more involved with some other communities. I started playing a lot more Undernight. Um, Undernight is easily one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Oh, I thought he was gonna fire me. Yes! Alright, I'm getting a little bit of lag, but I think we'll be alright. I started playing more Undernight, started playing more um, Marvel. I I've been trying to get back into Marvel, actually, recently, especially with the PC release coming out. I think that game is really, really fun, and I I'm glad that it gets the love that it deserves. Uh, I, I still play, I, I've started to play, um, ooh, ooh, Central Fiction, uh, Blaze Blue. It's a really fun game as well. One thing that I definitely didn't get into was Guilty Gear Exert. I, I, I think that game is honestly kind of garbage. Ooh, that's going to kill me, isn't it? Yep, it is. Honestly, I, I mean, and I know some people are like not going to agree with that. And, like, you could love it if you want to. I just never, ever understood why people loved Exert so much. Maybe it's because Undernight like technically tainted my feelings for all anime fighters, because I just I think it's so good. If you've ever played Melty Blood, which I'm sure not a whole lot of people have played Melty Blood, yo, this guy is wrecking me right now. There we go. <laughs> I need to get back in my head, in my zone. Have you ever seen Kuroko no Basket 2? They get in the zone and it's like this astral plane of being. It's kind of like when you go whatever they call it in Bleach. I'm totally botching it right now. <laughs> I don't watch Bleach. <laughs> Speaking of which, I don't watch Kuroko either. I've just seen like a couple scenes that were pretty cool. Ooh! Ah, no, 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 no! That was prime, prime time for him to just edge guard me completely. Okay, we're not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose this one. Come on. Oh, is that it? Yeah! That feels really good. <laughs> I almost lost that. I didn't see what rank I got up. Shoot. I guess I'm gonna find out. Ah, 1027. Cool. <laughs> Considering I got knocked down by like 15 or so on the uh, last game back then. Let's go accept this. Luis Oronja. Or something like that. Alright. Let's ban. Strike this. I always strike T-Top Tree Top Lodge. We got another Zetterburn. We're playing against oh my god, that's two Zetterburns in a row. Um just get rid of this. 
and there this. I'll take either of those two stages over there. Sweet. This is my personal favorite one to play as a. So I feel like the obvious question to ask when it comes to fighting games is, what are your favorite fighting games? And it's like, I mean, I feel like I answered a couple of them. Uh, Under Night, obviously. Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger is one of my personal favorites. I know that game's like a broken mess because of some of the characters, but like, man, Jen will never be as good as he was in Calamity Trigger. Uh, he, like, <laughs> they completely nerfed him in... Ooh! Oh, no! There we go. They completely nerfed him in uh, Chrono Phantasma. Yeah, and it was never the same. Uh, Under Night, like I said, uh, Street Fighter 4. I don't really care for Street Fighter 5, but I think Street Fighter 4 is a whole lot of fun. Just, it, I feel like the game gets way too much flack sometimes, because I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, specifically. I tried playing the other two, and I thought it was just, like, okay. At best. Like, two! Two especially. I don't know, maybe I'm just not good at it. I, I, don't, I don't think it's very fun. I've been getting pretty good at three lately, though. Uh, learning them Dante combos. Bolt canceling is very, very difficult. Because it's like, you have to, like, input, mm, like, four actions. In, during one move, and it's just a lot of... Nice! Uh, it's just a lot of micromanagement as I'm playing. Obviously, I love a lot of Melee. Uh, Melee is one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Um, I play Marth, Falco, and I've been like dabbing in, Pe in Pichu lately, which I've actually been doing alright at. It's kind of funny. Oh man, I'm just playing against Zeta. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, so, I bet, and I also play Mario, um, but I don't really play Melee as much anymore, mostly just because I just don't feel the reason to go to tourneys anymore. I don't go to locals. But maybe, maybe I'll come back at some point. The game's a lot of fun. I was hoping to hit him again with another one. Ugh, yeah, I didn't expect that head on, huh? Okay, we gotta stay alive here. That's it. Yo! yo! Yo, 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 Let's go. Let's go. Alright, uh... <laughs> oh! And what are some of my other favorite fighting games? I really love Melty Blood. Um, not as much as Under Night. The whole, like, Crescent Moons thing it can get a little, uh, a little much, because I have to keep track of so many different character styles. And I know that it just changes... Holy crap! I know it only changes the special moves, but... It really does make a difference for some characters. You have to be more aware of the um, the neutral. Oh shoot! You have to be more aware of the neutral um, when you have to pay attention to so many different character types. Oh! 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 That killed me, dude. That was not good. Uh. Oh shoot! Now he's he's getting revenge. Oh shoot! He's getting revenge. I gotta- OH NO! I gotta bring this back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he wasn't expecting the B reverse! Oh no! That's it. Nice! That's another one for me, baby. As far as um, fighting games that I do play, uh, mostly just playing uh, anime fighters, but I kind of just dab and like whatever I feel like playing, I guess. Um, I, my, my mind kind of changes a lot. You'll notice that like my mind changes a lot on what I want to play. Uh, if you're curious, just to kind of... Oh, we're playing against this guy again? Um, you know, if I'm going to play against this guy, mm, should I play a different as a different character? Or should I just... I can't forfeit. Alright, you know what? Um We'll stick with we'll stick with Edelus. Let's go. We'll, we'll go we'll go Edelus. I'm ready. What's this Valentine? Oh, can I not play it? Yeah, I'll play this. This is Valentine. Alright, cool. So we're going Edelus. Uh slam junk slam dunk uh slam a jam a master. 
Um, go watch Ludvix's video on it. It's hilarious. Edelus Slam Jam. Uh, oh man, what stage am I getting rid of? Obviously this one. You never want to use that stage as Edelus, honestly. Because all the ice gets stuck at the top. Um, generally, platform stages, I feel like, aren't very good for Edelus. So that's perfect. We can play right here. Alright, ready to see my terrible Edelus play? Let's go. Oh, God. We're, we're off to a great start. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Yo, can I not? I need to not do this to myself like a scrub. Alright, come on. We can do this! I've beaten people with Edelus before. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm in, like, full concentration zone. Uh, I thought I could take him out from there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's bad. I'm, like, so in the zone right now that I'm just, like, not even talking. Yes! Oh, dude! <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's bring this back. Come on. Oh no, that's not good. If he gets one smash attack on me, I'm dead. No! <laughs> I can't let this video, I can't let these videos just turn into me lose, winning two matches with Zeta and then losing two matches with other characters. I gotta redeem myself. That's it. I thought I could... Dude, that's gonna... Oh, that's not gonna kill me. <laughs> I should've teched. Gosh dang it. Alright, we're holding that L. Oh, do I dare? Mm, I'm switching back to Zeta. I'm sorry. I have disgraced myself as an Edelus. I can't do it. I was going to talk about, um, my bad, I ended up losing focus of what I was doing, um, I was going to talk about, we're going back here, uh, my controllers, uh, aside from, obviously, oh, I was looking at the wrong Zeta, alright, we gotta pick this back up, I'm, I'm all out of black after playing Edelus. Alright, here we go, that's, he did not DI where I wanted him to. As far as controllers go, um, shoot, I play uh, I play melee with a GameCube controller. I play this game with a GameCube controller as well. It just feels natural for me to. A lot of people don't do that. I think I talked about that last episode. Uh, for most fighting games, though, I play with a A Arc. Uh, I believe it's A Arc Ebony. Uh, stick. It's, um, I can't remember the exact, like, n name for it. I don't think it's a Kwamba, but it is, it is, like, pretty much a Kwamba. Oh, Ebony Eight, uh, the Fusion. It, uh, plays on both 360 and... Oh, shoot, dude. Okay, I mean, that wasn't, like, a bad idea. It was just kind of stupid, I guess. <laughs> uh on an 8 arc Ebony Fusion, which the only thing that makes it special compared to a Kwamba Q4, which it's basically the same thing, is that it, um, nice. Oh, shoot. Is that it can play on PS3 and 360, um, which, which is pretty nice since I play on both platforms. <laughs> and then, oh, dude, I wanted that kill. Let's go! 
Let's go. Uh, second was Zelda. Uh, and then, for the only game that I play pad, aside from Melee, there's only one other game that I play pad, and that's Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. We're gonna get rid of Sage. And that's mostly because... He tried to... That was a bad parry, dude. Although I have no room to talk on terrible parries. Let's get this kill off really fast. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. And that's only because, it, I don't know, just for some reason, it doesn't feel right to play that game with a stick. I can only do, I think it's the assists. Most assist fighters I think I prefer on um, pad. Just because my fingers get all messed up, because like in Undernight and most other anime fighters, I only really have to focus on four or five buttons, whereas with assists and stuff and whatnot, I, I get mixed up with all the button combinations, especially when I'm trying to play Dante. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's gonna kill me. Oh, man. Okay, well, we've gotta climb our way back up, boys. Dude, his fire went through mine. Yo, can I please stop? There we go. Okay, we gotta take this back. We got this guy is challenging me right now. Oh, 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 this is so not good. This is so not good. This is so not good. No! That's no! This guy took me. No! Oh no, dude! Really? Oh my god, that was a that was a lot. It took me about 17. I can't believe I shouldn't have played Atlas. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching Aether Online. Make sure to leave a like uh, if you enjoyed it. Uh, it's always encouraging and makes me want to make more videos. Uh, leave a comment if you want to ask any questions. I'll be uh, making up more of these topics to talk about in future episodes. But the questions will make it a little more interesting and a little more personal. So I can, uh, you know, answer some things that I may have not have thought of in a topic. And as always, uh, subscribe if you would like to see more videos. I don't make videos very often, but I do plan on continuing this series um, a lot more. I'm shooting for at least one a week. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya.